everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Joanna and in today's video I'm going to take you through this very gentle yoga sequence focusing on your back and that will be lower back, mid back and upper back working towards reducing and hopefully removing any aches and pains, any tension and reducing that stiffness around the back area. The sequence is open to all levels, but if you are a beginner, feel free to grab a block or a cushion just to help you along the way with certain asanas. So let's get started in a wide-legged child's pose. Again, feel free to grab a block or a cushion, bringing your knees out wide, big toes together, inhale, and as you exhale, send your hips back towards your heels. Now I understand that this position is not available, it's not very comfortable for everyone. So do whatever you need to in order to feel comfortable. Feel free to elevate your hips on a cushion or on a block. And once you're there, I want you to walk your hands forwards. They don't have to be straight just yet. Breathe in and as you breathe out, allow your forehead to lower down towards the mat. Feel free to grab a block and place your forehead on a block. And once you're there, allow your body to relax into this pose. So bring your focus inward to your breath. Breathe in deeply all the way into your belly. Your belly and chest expand. And as you breathe out, Allow your hips to sink deeper towards your heels, towards the mat. Allow your forehead to rest on a block or on the mat. And as you breathe, just arrive on the mat. Notice how your body feels, where the tension is. And again, just notice, no judgment, and let it go. And remove the block from underneath your forehead and stretch your arms out forward, sending your hips back at the same time. Breathe in to find that length. From here, walk both hands to the left edge of the mat. Breathe in to lengthen once again, and this time as you breathe out, sink in towards the mat. So feel free to lower your forehead towards the mat if that's available. Try not to elevate your hips of your heels. And when you're ready, you walk your hands through the center over to the other side of the mat. Again, breathe into that length and lower down on the exhale. And from here, walk back to the center lift your chest here and send your right arm underneath the left bridge of your left armpit send it through it's like a thread the needle but in that child's pose so breathe in to reach that left arm forwards and breathe in to reach your right fingers to the left side relaxing your arm and shoulder if you can on the mat And when you're ready, send your right arm forward, left arm reaches across, switching sides. Beautiful. When you're ready, slowly come back and you can walk your hands in. We're going to transfer into a tabletop position. So all fours, knees and hands wrist below your shoulders place the tops of your feet on the mat we're going to start with a few cat to cows in this position so breathe and draw your belly button towards the mat opening through your chest 
looking up as you exhale round your spine tuck your chin tuck your tailbone under breathe in to open again and breathe it and we're gonna go for one more Beautiful. Now straighten your back. So come back into that neutral position. Send your right leg long. Flex through that right foot. So toes are facing down. Send your left arm forwards. Press your right hand into the mat to separate out your shoulder blade. Just to stiffen your core a little bit more. Breathe in and as you breathe out, lift opposite arm, opposite leg. Just to your shoulder, your hip level. Hold. Look towards the top of your mat. And slowly lower down in the switch sides. Send your left leg long, reaching your right arm forwards. Breathe in and breathe out. Lift and hold. Very good. Slowly come back into that tabletop position. Take your right hand, place it behind your head. Keep that right elbow to the side. Now from here, breathe in and reach that right elbow towards the ceiling, opening through your chest to that right side and slowly come back to that neutral position. So let's try again. Breathe in, squeezing your shoulder blades together, reaching, reaching that elbow up and slowly come back. And last one, lift up. And reach your right arm up and slowly come back. Let's try to the other side. So you should feel that warmth across the upper part of your back, mid back maybe as well. So let's try the same on the other side. Take your left hand, place it behind your head, breathe in and can you reach that elbow up, squeezing your shoulder blades and slowly Come back, neutral, breathe in to open up and come back. Last one, inhale, reach your left arm up, look up if you can towards your hand and slowly come back. Well done. Bring your knees, thighs, toes together. Sit your bum back in this close legged child's pose again feel free to keep your hips up slightly higher feel free to keep them on a cushion you can bring your arms in and relax down into this little bowl and relax your arms alongside your body very good now slowly Sit on up, we're going to transfer into a comfortable seated position. So cross-legged for me, it's always the most comfortable, um, but choose the one that's comfortable for you. Feel free to elevate your hips on a block or on a cushion. Now sitting nice and tall, breathe and reach both arms out to the sides. Reaching nice and long, keeping your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Now breathe in to lengthen and reach your arms out to the sides. As you exhale, imagine there's a big beach ball in front of you and you want to hug that beach ball rounding your upper back, rounding your shoulders here as well. Now breathe in, open up, let go of that beach ball, squeeze your shoulder blades, open through your chest and look up slightly. Let's try that again round your upper back, your shoulders, your spine, hug that beach ball and open up. Let it go. One more. And open up. Breathe and reach both arms up tall. As you breathe out, send your right hand behind your right hip left hand on top of your right knee 
Breathe in to lift your chest. As you breathe out, can you rotate your body to the back wall? Breathe in, come back, reach your arms overhead. And breathe out, let's bring it to the other side. Inhale and exhale, rotate. And slowly come back, reach your arms up and release your arms down. From here we're going to transfer onto your backs. So feel free to hold onto the backs of your thighs and slowly roll down onto your backs. And make sure your tailbone is grounded, your shoulders are relaxed on the mat. Feeling nice and comfy. And we're going to start with your right leg first. So bring your right knee in towards your chest. Interlace your fingers and wrap your hands around your right shin. Breathe in and as you breathe out, pull onto that leg, pull onto that shin, onto that knee, and bring it closer and closer towards the mat. As you gently pull onto that knee, at the same time, try and focus on driving your tailbone towards the mat. Feel free to stay here, but if you can, slide your foot down the mat, straighten your leg a little bit more, a little bit more. If you can, straighten it out fully. And release. Back down, switch sides, bring your left knee in towards your chest, breathe in and breathe out, pull onto that knee gently. Bring your tailbone down towards the mat. And again, feel free to slide that right foot down the mat. slowly slowly come back bending both knees bring your right foot or right heel on top of your left knee you can cactus your arms your palms are facing up breathe in and as you breathe out allow your legs to fall to the left side look straight ahead as in up towards the ceiling but as you can, can you look towards the right wall? So away from that stretch. Keep both shoulders on the mat. And try and relax into this pose. Feel free to bring that left leg slightly up a little bit higher to intensify this lovely stretch, finding more space in your body. And when you're ready, slowly, slowly come back in. Let's switch sides. Left foot on top of your right knee. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring it over to the other side. And again, practicing your arms, shoulders are grounded. And you might find that one side is a little bit easier than the other, a little bit more flexible, there's a bit more space there, um, and that's quite normal. Can you look over to that left side, away from that stretch, and again, feel free to bring your right leg up a little bit higher to intensify this stretch, find a little bit more space in your body. Lovely. Slowly come back, bring both knees, thighs together, both knees towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs and lift your head and shoulders and shoulder blades off the mat. 
Breathe, and as you breathe out, hold your knees, hold your legs tight. Try and bring your forehead towards your knees. And from here, we're gonna gently rock and roll, massaging your back, massaging your spine. And if you can, only if you can, use that rocking movement to sit on up into a comfortable seated position. So again, cross your legs or whatever feels good for you at the moment. You can roll your shoulders back and down, sit a little bit taller and close your eyes or just soften your eye gaze, whatever is comfortable for you today. You can rest your hands on your, sh on your thighs, on your knees. And bring your attention to your breath once again. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose. And again, as you breathe, just notice how your body feels. Just scan your body. See if there's any difference after our practice today. Any difference? How your body how your body feels is it more relaxed more open is there more space in your body and when you're ready bring your hands heart center and blink your eyes open Thanks so much guys for joining me on the mat today. Well done for showing up. Have a lovely, lovely day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are and keep practicing. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Thanks so much guys. See you again. Namaste.